everyone welcome to the next episode so today's episode we'll be painting a imperial fist so yellow space marine um, i know yellow is a color that's quite awkward for a lot of people so i thought i'd go over how to do it with uh, oil paints very how it can be done quite easily in fact uh, so the colors we're using you can see them laid out on the palette just here so note on my palette same as always a bit of cardboard with some baking paper glued to the top. Uh, the first colour is just black on Altilong. I've got faded dark yellow on Altilong again. Yellow. Then cadmium light yellow hue from Winsor and Newton. Buff from Altilong. The last one is bitter me from Altilong. Now the oils, obviously we don't use water, we use white spirits. So in this case, I've just got some Windsor & Newton Artist White Spirits. Uh, it's pretty odourless. The only time you really smell it is when you open the bottle. Once you've poured it out, the smell tends to go away really quickly. Then I'm going to use a whole three brushes. So I've got the basic size one generic craft brush. I've got a size 2 from Abtalung and a 10 0 Rosemary Co. So, without further ado, let's get on with the show. So, let's start with picking up the brush. So, first step, get some of the bit of me. And we're going to put that where we want our shadowed area. Don't have to be neat, put it where you want it. Going up here. I'm not going to see the back of the legs because these are very much in shadow, so it'd be a slightly bigger area. Then we're going to go under the legs. Um, we're only going to do the one leg, otherwise, we'll be here all day painting the whole thing. But so it'll just give you a good idea of how to do it. So there we are. So now, obviously something there to start laying that shadow into those weird little groove bits a line right there I'll just clean off the brush quickly a little bit of oil wipe it on the paper tissue paper now we're going to ignore the orangey faded dark yellow which is just orange go straight into our yellow now, even in oils, yellow is quite thin. So what we're aiming to do is put this without blending it just yet into most of the rest of the area. So you can probably, due to the shininess of the oil paints, it is a bit awkward to uh, paint, um, record but the uh, yellow, even in oils, is quite thin. So be aware of that. We can't even get away with that with other types. So, but, uh, very quickly, again, get off. Get our brightest yellow. is very thin. Into our uh, highest areas. Okay. Doesn't look like much so far. Now we'll grab our number two. Size two. We're gonna, what we're gonna do is not make a point with it and flatten it out a bit. Then start the blending process. merging the lines together, removing that hard edge, obviously wiping excess off, this helps us to start building up our layers. Obviously we're actually removing paint at this point as well, but for yellow that is a bit of a pain. 
is already quite decent. And start merging the white color. Obviously, we'll get some of the brown bit of me on the brush as well. Can't fully get rid of it. You see, I'm moving it around. Already white is quite yellow. And we can bring it further by using the angle we brush from. But this will pick up the brown first and bring it in. Obviously, if we went so bringing it from this side to this side, we drag the brush this way, it'll we'll pick up the brown first and drag it across, blending it more like the darker colour in. In the other way, we'll bring, blend the yellow into the brown. I just want to make sure that's already quite a nice egg piece. But we're not going to stop there. Our next step is obviously the knee pad is a little bit awkward. I'm going to get some of my brighter yellow again. Lock that into the highest points. And just with the same brush, just wiped it off a bit then blend around the edges just to make that bright spot a bit brighter. Same down the middle. And just put a little bit on and then blend it out. Now our next one, I'm going to grab a bit of the orange or the faded dark yellow and into just some points, the little dots, the areas. The idea is, we've now laid our, ba our main base layer out. I just want to add a bit of general interest into the colour. So, using just the one brush, start blending those dots out into those areas. Start steering, already adding a bit of extra interest as we go round. The wonderful thing with oils. The more you blend it, the less it will appear, obviously. There we go. There we go. We've added a bit of extra visual interest to the piece. Now, there's one colour we haven't used yet. Oh, two colours, in fact, the black and the buff. I'm going to grab me 10 0. And with the black, just grab a little bit on the end of the brush and some paint scratches, little dents and nicks around the edge. There we go. Just clean that little brush off. See how easy that was. Then we get a bit of the buff. We can use that to underline the edges. The wonderful thing with the oils as well is it will start to blend straight away, so you get a nice little blended line. And there we go. How easy was that? So quickly recap, we obviously went I remove this. Drop me brushes. We started with the bitumy. That went into our shadowed areas. Went to faded dark yellow. Put that in. Cadmium yellow, the highest points. Blend it all together. Put in some highlights. Keep moving. You can go play with those colours backwards and forwards. Putting dots in and blending them out. A little bit of the uh, faded yellow just to bring some visual interest. And black for some faint lines and scratches, being uh, highlighted with the buff. And there we are. So, on the back side was another practice piece. So, you can see I pushed uh, the orange a bit further on these ones. But yeah. Then, obviously, around here and such like that. You could either put the black in just to give it that black edge, or 
use really watered down oils to make a pin wash, which I will do in another episode. And you can just drop that in and it will reline where all the lines are. But yeah, I hope that is showing you just how simple some of the harder techniques in other colours can, can actually be in oil paints. Um, yeah, so if you enjoyed that, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching.